Hello, welcome to my channel, One More to Fix. I have Honda CRV 2009 EX that's got an engine light popped up and then I plugged in the diagnostic tool. It shows me that it's P2647. That's a oil pressure switch high. It's a rocker arm oil pressure switch high. And because this is a VTEC engine, it suspect, I suspect that this module could be dirty. You know, this, uh, this module right here, it's got like a strainer here. So when it's get gummed up and dirty, it gives you that uh, error code. So I ordered a new one from eBay for like $70. Instead of messing with all the switch and solenoid or whatever here, just replace the whole module. Hopefully the error would go away. And this is a bit tricky because it's at the back of the engine and you have to kind of feel it. I'm gonna show you how. So here in the next uh, screen, you're gonna see a shop manual on how to do that. So I got this from a Honda COV owner forum. It's got step-by-step -step instruction on how to do that and uh, even got the spec for tightening the bolts back, you know, the foot pound and whatnot. So yeah, it's uh, pretty straightforward. And in the next clip, I just show you what I done because it's very hard to take a video of that because it's at the back of the engine and it's no room to do that. So just uh, show you after the fact. So it is right here behind the engine compartment, behind the engine and it's right there. You see the reflection in the mirror? So that's where it came from. It's right here, connect with all of these uh, I think there are just two connectors and the module is holding in place by three 10 mil bolts. That's it. So after I remove it, you just clean it, use a mirror to kind of look at it, clean that surface pretty good, just wipe it off and put a new module in. Okay, so uh, to install the new module, uh, you have to really use a lot of kind of feel it because uh, it's very hard to really take a video of that. So what I've done was kind of, you know, feel it and try to insert uh, three 10 mil bolts back. Then you kind of hand thread them. Manually. And use a mirror to help. And that's it. So. This is the new module. Right there, it's hard to see. And uh, after you're done install it, hooked up the two wire harness back in. It's very hard to see here. Basically, this one right there. And then this guy right here. This guy, and this guy. This is the module until you install. Just wanna make sure no leak, you know? So I start the car, look at it, no leak. And I'm gonna drive around and try to go over 3000 RPM because the VTEC fault, high pressure fault, the fault came out after you passed 3000 RPM. 
And another one to note, when you install the module, torque it to 8.7 foot-pound, the three bolts, 10 mils, 8.7 foot-pounds. Use a torque wrench, torque it to spec, and I don't see any leak. And I will go drive around, see if it, you know, it fixed the problem. If it doesn't, keep working, but I think it's gonna fix it because the old one, the strainer, kind of dirty. And just replace the module, I think. 70, $70 $80, it's not bad. Uh, that's about it. So the little mirror kind of help. Thank you. Thousand RPM, four thousand RPM.